gotten a player as of recently that's been on the like descend, mm -hmm. and Meister has been recently on the ascend. You know, like yes. Meister has been getting so many top eights. Obviously, Cosmos just had a really great performance recently, so he's been definitely coming back. Um, at, at Thunder Smash 3, he had a really, really good run into the top eight. So I believe he got third at that tournament. Right, right. And of course, you know, this is just the perfect time to really come out of your funk when being here, winner's finals of Nightmare on Smashville. Okay. Yeah, if, if there's any tournament you're going to really, like, come back and make your deb debut, it's going to be this tournament, the last chance qualifier, last spot for Summit on the grabs here. And, wow, Meister doing a really good job just keeping the offstage pressure. Down Smash does not connect on the two frame there. Right, we can see one until actually connecting and oh, reaching for that back air, but good tech and retreating to the other side of the stage. Very smart from Cosmos. Let's just completely avoid whatever ledge trap that Meister was trying to set up. Yeah, exactly. And we see Cosmos trying to set up some of the roller action, didn't really work out, but Meister closing it off out off stage against Inkling, one of the harder characters at Edge Guard. So, really good stuff to Meister. Uh, Inkling, definitely one of the best recoveries in this game. Mm -hmm. Okay, directional air dodge, but getting grabbed, and of course, there's the Nair. Even at on a couple extra uh, two toots wow. on the way. Jeez, so much damage, and it all started with the uppy, man. And like, I preach how broken that uppy is so so much. It is probably the best out of shield option in the game in terms of speed and what you get out of it. And the down smash to follow as well. Meister is up three stocks to one. Yeah, that's right. But we're gonna make okay. quick work of that first stock. You know, simply erase that one. Never just just erase it from your mind as well. But okay, Cosmos has a lot of work to just overcome Meister in here in game one. Already down like a full stock and Meister is not relenting. Yeah, and the one thing about Game & Watch's juggles with forward air and up air, they're very non-committal. They're not going to kill you for the most part, like forward air might. You're not going to die from up air, but it's just the situation it sets up and you're just going to the ground while shooting a hitbox upwards. So you get to still set up the next juggle situation and catch the landing and look at all this damage Cosmos has taken. That's right, even getting hit up all along the way. A couple of down smashes coming from Meister. It looked like he was trying to set up to get the grounded animation, but Cosmos able to escape it. There's the ground. What? Yeah. That hit him. That not only hit him, that buried my man. Yeah. Buried him to the your ground. Boy, your boy's in the ground right now, and now we're heading to game two. The, the thing about that down smash animation is if you get hit at the corners, that's where you're going in the ground. That's right. when you're in the dirt. Exactly. And now he's taking a dirt nap. Yeah, and I mean... Meister just obviously going to come up with the forward smash to finish that one off. Very strong showing for game number one. Um, and I mean, just getting into winner's side grand finals, being on the comfortable side of having that set to drop is a really, really big deal. I don't see Cosmos. He's not going to change any characters. He's a, he's a, he could definitely switch up the skins, you know. Mm -hmm. He's always about oh, the course, switch. Of Inkling has a lot of great skins. <laughs> um, Final Destination is the pick here, getting rid of these platforms. Um, I, for me, Final Destination, the way I always look at it is it's a very heavy ledge trapping juggling stage. Like, this advantage is so amplified on the stage because there's no places to really reset your resources being platforms, right? So it, it's definitely like, in my opinion, like a double-edged sword counter pick. Can, can definitely swing in your favor, but can also be, you know, if you're the one in disadvantage all the time, it can be very, very rough. Very, very true. And as you can see, like, Cosmos is playing very, very safe. And, you know, he wants to make sure that he does get his combo started with the back air and then try and able to convert this Earlier in game one, like you just saw, just the amount of times that Meister was able to escape Cosmos' aggression. And now Cosmos slowing down the tempo, making yeah. sure that he gets the first hit that he needs to convert. There's yeah. the up throw, but being able to eject with the up B out now, of the up throw up air. Now, some people might be thinking, like, oh, because Game & Watch has the up B that oh, he... Oh, we just what? ran right into that! How many forward smash kills is Meister going to rack up in this set? Jeez. And you know what the worst part was? Like, Cosmos was stuck in animation. He was committed to the roller, and Meister was just like, yo, dog, he's the super hot fire. I love how both of these players, like, oh. they, they're, wow. Okay, so live. Wow, he's still going. The drag down was enough to take it. And Meister edge guards Cosmos with the back air. What a play. Killing Inkling sub 50% off an edge guard is a very rare sight, Z fight. Very, yo, very rare. Forget ledge traps. Let's just go straight up off the ledge and make sure secure that kill. Yeah, and I mean, that was an exquisite play with Game & Watch. And like I said, both these characters have very, very great recoveries, but, you know, their offstage are equally as great. And we see Cosmos, we see Meister going so hard offstage for each other, and I love this bloodbath. Oh, especially when Meister is up a full stock. You know, he's that's when he's really trying to, you know, gamble and just get away. He's trying to really extend that lead as far as he can, but there's the back throw. He's, of course, reaching with that turtle. Steve, the turtle is not connecting this time. 
Ooh, big damage here, the jab. Right after the back air, and here's ooh, another back air follow up here. Cosmos slowly bringing this back, but there's the downer to stop all the momentum on Cosmos' side. Yeah, it's really looking like that Cosmos has a lot of difficulty to tell what Meister is going to be using in, in these like recovery situations. Meister's been throwing out a lot of key, especially whenever Cosmos is like right underneath him or just even to the side, and then he's able to drift and just really exploit Cosmos' aggression. Yeah, and, and the thing is, too, I, I actually think. Inkling does really well versus Game & Watch, but Meister is just playing this out so well. He's able to get all these stocks. He's able to get like these gims, the dash attack on the ledge trap, and Meister now going to go up 2-0 versus Cosmos in a very commanding fashion. I did not expect this set to really pan out like this. I mean, a 2-0 lead nonetheless, and both two stock victories. I mean, the, can you? I couldn't have said it better myself. And what that's that's got to be the most comfortable way to go in to game three. Two stocks, two in a row. Right. And now you you pretty much just told Cosmos like, yo, take me wherever you want. Platforms, no platforms, stock. I got you. You don't want me to let trap you. Guess what? I'll go off stage too. Yeah, exactly. And I honestly like when I think about the matchup in my head, I feel like Inkling should win. I mean, you have all this like it's very hard for Game and Watch to up be out of shield. A lot of Inkling's options because I mean back here just has so much range. Um, a lot of Inkling's moves are negative two on shield. The up B comes out on frame three, so you can technically shield the up B on a lot of the certain block strings. But man, Meister, I just feel like he's playing out of his mind right now. Yeah, on paper this definitely looks like it does have the Inkling favor. But let me tell you something. A Korean, as a man of numbers, as a man who's seen it time after time, it doesn't always come down to what's on paper, but it's going to come down to what in these players' hearts. As you can see, Meister just wants it more right now. Yeah, and he's, he's playing phenomenal. But right now, Cosmos looking to make some kind of case for this for this set. He has the lead here, 120%. Game Watch is very light, and just as I say it, the back air will close it out. I mean, even that was even a, like a tricky trap that Cosmos did before he was able to get Meister off stage. He rolled into the ledge and then used the roller in case uh, pretty much Meister picked any option besides jump. Speaking of back air edge guards, well, you know what, man? You do it to me. I got a same... I mean, not not very similar, but just really good disjoint back airs for edge guarding like that. Both these characters have those tools. Oh, woo! Oh, we got to hit him with the cheese. Yeah, get I me mean, for the nine. You, you got to go for it if you're a game and watch. You know what I mean? Like the, the at those percents, the down throw into the judgment is a true combo. Why not roll the dice? If you get a nine, you could just get the stock, right? Oh, I'm a fan of any player that's willing to roll the dice. Oh yeah. I mean, we, we saw, you know, Salem Rock and the Hero a little earlier, so oh, man, I, I saw that whack kill. Popping off so hard. I saw that whack kill. <laughs> oh, but yes, I mean, Meister able to bring this game three back to pretty much even percents, only like really a small deficit between these two players. Down smash going to get shielded by Meister, and now trying to set up the forward air, even reaching wow. with the back air. That dash grab went under that move. Man, I've seen it time and time again, Inkling. Definitely one of the... Uh, Great things about Inkling is that dash, being that low silhouette, right? You can go underneath some certain hitboxes. Um, that's what makes this character so, so strong. But man, both these guys still at kill percent, very, very close. Okay, do not run into the S match again. One. You know, he was charging up too, he was ready. Meister was just raving to let go of that button, but getting another back air onto Meister. And now Meister, of course, recovering low. Trying to challenge that low recovery from Game Watch is already really difficult. Oh man, and Cosmos on the reactions, man. Really good stuff. The back throw won't kill just yet, but still another ledge trap situation. But the down air, such a good hitbox to land with, is a little laggy, but it's just so big. And you see the moment that Meister actually committed to using the up. It was right when Cosmos was reaching with the back air. But both players still living at around 150%. That's really high for both these two players, but the bomb's going to connect. Wow, and Cosmos tried to hit the bomb with the forward air, but I guess was a tad bit out of range, so just not going to quite hit the mark. And now Meister has an opportunity to get some... A lot of damage. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Cosmos is going to come in with the Tomahawk, back throw him right out of here. Yeah, get that trash out of here. Now we see a Naren to up air. Of course, using a couple of back airs, make sure that uh, Meister is actually covering his, his recovery. Oh, man. And here's the Game & Watch combos. It, when you get, like, double, triple Nair, it does so much damage. But speaking of damage, <laughs> 25 oh. off jab. No, it's looking like a little, that's a different shade of Game & Watch. I don't think I've seen yeah, that one when, before. When Game & Watch is fully inked, it's hilarious. It's <laughs> just like, oh, wow, I didn't know they had a, a, another Yo, DLC skin? Yeah, DLC <laughs> skins up in here. Here's the up air juggles. Cosmos, though, getting a little bit of control, but that up B, and oh, that, that's the one just strong thing about that up B. It follows up in the combo. That's going to be it, though. The down smash 
to finish it off. And Meister is going to take it 3-0 over Cosmos. Very, uh, I wouldn't say like unexpected because, you know, I, I think a lot of people would have said, you know, you know, Meister has been on the come up, right? Yeah, yeah, so, he's been on fire for sure. Um, Meister winning is not a surprise, but to me, a 3-0 victory in that fashion. Like, 3-0 victory. First two games were solid two stocks, and then last game was like a solid one stock. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did see the adjustment coming out from Cosmos, though. You know, he was slowly, again, slowing down his pace, making sure that he was able to connect the back air, right. using the dash dance a lot more in game three, which he was trying to go for more aerial approaches in the game one and two. And we started to see that work in his favor, but then the adjustment from um, Meister's side was that he just started committing to the added direction button more. Yeah, yeah. Just get him out of there. The I feel like the down smashes were so clutch oh, for they were. Meister. He, they were. Time and time again, he got so many down smashes. That down smash, I feel like the risk reward for that move is so strong. Uh, it's pretty hard to whiff punish. There's a very little lag. I've seen Meister bait people so much. He'll just like charge down smash and then buffer spot dodge and then kill people for it or up smash. I don't know. It, I just, for what he gets out of it, the range it has, the berry effect, yes. like, and Especially how much lag effect. it has, I'm kind of like, man. Especially where the this berry is a very effects good move. are on the down smash. Right, like, it's you like could get the very tip of the down smash, and guess what? Now they're 90. Yep. Yep. 90. So and that berry is so hard to mash out of. Like, it's definitely no like K rule or banjo down throw berry. Like, <laughs> it's, it's you push rough. like two buttons and you're out. Yeah, it's uh, rough. Man. You got to mash for your life. All right, so next up, it looks like we got. Leon. Leon versus Salem. I'm assuming this is the losers' semis. That's right. So we are both top these, four. This is for fourth place. Um, Man. And as, if that's, you guys, that's rough. Dude. If you all didn't see like both of their matches to get to this point, Leon versus Nico was a nail biter. It went to game five, Ooh. and then Leon popped off. Like just, it was such a back and forth set leading up to game five, and then Leon just exploded all over Nico. Hey, give me those. And then, uh, of course, you know, we saw just how strong Salem's hero was against yep. Best Ness. Right. And, I mean, Ness definitely a character where, you know, he just sat back and really Ness doesn't have, like,